So I presented today on uh, ibertamide, which is the fourth generation imid compound, a cousin of thalidomide, lenalidomide, and pomalidomide. And what ibertamide does that the others don't do is binds cerebellum even more potently than the other ones do and has different downstream effects on Icarus and Aelios, allowing it to work to overcome the resistance of pomalidomide and lenalidomide. So this was a phase one multi-arm trial. There was ibertamide alone, there was ibertamide plus dex, and now that there are expansion cohorts combining ibertamide with bortezomib, daratumumab, and carfilzomib. What I'm focusing on in the presentation is really the use of ibertamide with dexamethasone, where a total of 66 patients have gone through dose escalation at this time. So I think what we were most excited about was about a 30% overall response rate, even in the context of pomalidomide, and in many cases, daratumumab-resistant myeloma. Um, the adverse events were pretty well tolerated. There was only some hematologic toxicity. Uh, and in general, it looks like it's tolerated better than many of the other imid class of drugs that we've used. I think next steps are to continue to, to work on the dose escalation with combinations and to try and find the maximum tolerated dose, or MTD. We haven't hit that yet in the DEX combination. Um, and then again, find the combination doses with carfilzomib, bortezomib, daratumumab, and potentially other antibodies uh, as a way to try and figure out how to use this as a tool going forward. Well, I think this is really addressing an area where there's a huge unmet need in myeloma, and that is patients with pomalidomide and potentially DARA and carfilzomib-resistant myeloma. So the ability to get a one in three response rate in this patient population is very exciting and offers these patients new options.